In this video, I'm going to dig deeper into what a commit is and what information it contains. Each commit has four things in it. One is the ID of its parent. Okay, let me correct myself. It has five things. It's got its own ID, which is a CHA-1 checksum of the change set. Number two, it's got an ID of its parent. Okay, see, those are all commits. Each one has points to its parent, and that's because it contains the ID of its parent. Even this one, which was is off the beaten path, points to its parent. Okay, the other thing is it has a message, which is the commit message. And then the fifth thing is it has all the changes that make it different from its parent. Now, outside of a commit, there's the head, and then there's all these other pointers, which are for other branches. Um, you know, master branch points to a particular commit in the tree. The maintenance branch pointer points to a different commit. And then the head is supposed to point to one of the branch heads. Okay, so head would point either to maintenance or master. But there is a circumstance where the head can actually point directly to a commit and somehow that would be a nameless branch i'm not sure what that circumstance would be but i don't know in this particular picture it seems to be true and i've heard that that can happen 